what stood out to you guys about the way you guys sort of took control of the game in the fourth quarter? Um, I think just we continue to play the right way to um, the whole game and uh, until we kind of like um, ran away with it, you know, and I give a lot of credit to the second unit that, you know, in the second quarter um, and to start the fourth quarter, you know, from Luke, Sam, Malcolm, Peyton, the way they, those guys came in, uh, you know, they're the reason we won tonight. Uh, just continue to move, create space, move without the ball, set screens. You know, if I had an ISO, they were sending the extra one, you know, blitzing the ball screen. Um, so just things that we are aware of going into games and things that, uh, you know, just make the right read. I draw two, drag them out, find open man, play four on three, um, pass up a good shot for a great shot. Uh, no, that's something Joe was, you know, uh, kind of implemented to start the season, you know, that when things aren't necessarily going right, you know, traditionally in the NBA, guys going to 8-0 run, 10-2 run, you look to the bench, they're going to call a timeout. And Joe would look at us and be like, no, like keep playing. Um, and I think at first it, it, was, it, it was an adjustment, um, but uh, – you know, damn near surprised when he does call a timeout. You guys have a, a lot of players that could play more minutes, but could get more touches on a different team. What goes into um, everybody kind of staying on the same page, and how much do you value that as, as somebody who doesn't necessarily have to make all those sacrifices, but benefits from it? Yeah, uh, I think it's just, you know, everybody has to sacrifice to be on a great team. Uh, and, you know, everybody, we have individual guys that come off the bench that could start on the majority of the teams. We got guys that start that could, you know, average more on another team. Uh, but any, anybody will tell you how much fun and rewarding it was last year in the playoffs uh, to keep advancing, to keep winning, uh, to, to make it to the finals. And, you know, no individual, you know, stat or accolade you know, can measure up to, you know, being on a winning team that's having fun. It's nothing better than that. Uh, I think 90 seconds to the fourth quarter, Joe's going to put you back in. Uh, and you kind of were headed to the bin, or sorry, headed to the score table, but then the second unit made a run and kind of kept you out for a while. What's that like to watch the second unit to where they all, you know, and you kind of want to uh, mess with their flow and, and Flourish when, when you're off the floor. Uh, man, I was ecstatic, ecstatic for those guys, right? You know, the way Peyton came in and, and contributed, the way Luke did, Malcolm. Uh, and that's big. That just shows, you know, how good of a team that we are. Uh, that, you know, those guys can keep a lead and, and extend a lead, you know, while necessarily starters are out of the game. Uh, I mean, we're going to need that, you know, as we uh, continue. Um, down the season. Uh, so, you know, yeah, I had some bad misses, but, you know, I'd rather be out there still trying to help my team win, uh, you know, than, than, than not. So, you know, it'll be all right. Um, I did. I airball like three or four times. But, uh, you know, it's good when you could laugh it off. You know, we still won, so it made the night better. Is that, is that something you have to consider about maybe taking a break for a game or two at some point if it is? Bothering you that much, or is it stuff that you can't sort of plow through and play? Uh, something me and Brad will fight about. Uh, so when it gets to that point, you know, maybe you'll see me sit out, maybe not. Is, uh, and is, does anything change with Jalen being out for a minute? Uh, uh, we just got to, you know, we, everybody has to, you know, expect it to do more, and everybody has to step up. Um, you know, guys get more of an opportunity, and uh, you got to make the most out of it. You know, obviously. You know, we, we need them, you know, to where we want to get to. But um, health is most important. And, uh, you know, we just got to hold it down until he gets back. How long has that stuff been bothering you? 
Uh, obviously, everybody know about my wrist during uh, the finals, and I talked about it after. And uh, one game into the season, I remember I heard it against Philly. So I've been taping it ever since. And then issues with my thumb and, you know, recently my ring finger. Uh, but, you know, Nick just going to keep trying to figure out ways to tape it and wrap it up. Last question. Can you tell us about the JT1's picture leak today and how exciting that it's happening? Uh, truthfully, that's not the... Uh, not the real picture. <laughs> no. So I would love to. You know, I've seen the not real version come out today, and the kid in me wanted to post the real picture. Um, but, you know, I'm excited. Um, you know, I'll be wearing them very, very soon, but, you know, that's not, that's not necessarily exactly how they look. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited. It's been a long time coming.